Hey everyone, it's Valerie here this afternoon. So as promised for many, many months, I'm finally going to do the video that I've always wanted to do from the beginning, and it's compare the five largest candle companies against each other, just in my opinion, my experience, and um, let you guys know which one side by side um, that I think is the best one. Now I'm not saying don't buy this one or don't buy that one, or anything like that but just my experience and kind of why I would choose this one over the other one as you can see and I'll flip the camera around in a minute I have them all here we're gonna do diamond candles hidden treasure candles jewelry candles jewelry ink candles and prize candles these to me are the most five popular ones especially when I got into candles those were the ones the names I always saw on Google and popping up on Facebook and stuff so those are the ones um, I actually ordered these Almost like two months ago, they were all, these were all their Valentine's Day edition candles, okay? And I'm sorry for my lighting, it's like afternoon time, so, sorry. Anyhow, I'll flip the camera around and get a better view of these, but yeah, they're all going to be Valentine's Day edition candles, so to me, these are the best of the best, you know, when you make a limited edition candle, they should really shine, so I decided to kind of, let's put their specialty candles against each other and see which ones um, scored the most points. So I've debated for months over how I'm going to do this. So here's how I'm going to do it. I am going to break down between a scale of one and 10, uh, just kind of what I thought about customer service, shipping, packaging, uh, the wax, you know, uh, the scent throw, how long did it burn? And then, you know, kind of the jewelry we got out of it. Um, the jewelry I'm not going to get too much into because if y'all watch my videos, you know that You'll be highly disappointed if you buy candles because you think you're going to get a million dollar ring. You know, the jewelry is always just a bonus, but I will depict which ones I actually got better jewelry out of, not saying that the other ones are not good. So I just kind of want to get those out of the way. It's going to be a two-part video. I mean, I may actually edit the whole video together. I'm not sure. But in the first part, we're going to go over the smells, packaging. I'm going to show you guys. None of these have been lit yet. None of them. I'm going to go over all of this. And then um, kind of all the things up to arrive in the candle, such as shipping, ordering, things like that. Um, and then I'm going to light them all separately. I'll probably have separate videos for each one. And then I'll kind of come back and just let you guys, I'll show you the jewelry I got out of them. We'll talk about how long each of them burned for. So this video has been taking me a long time to even get all the products together. And then now to kind of do the collaboration and melt them all and get all the surprises out. And I really want to take them all to a jeweler, but... I don't know if I'll have time for that because I am very busy, but um, most of the time, you know, we'll just kind of go off what it's marked and things like that. But I hope you guys are excited for this video because I have been wanting to do it for a very, very long time. And let's go ahead and get a look into these bad boy candles and see what they're all about. All right, guys. So here we go. Over here, we're going to have diamond candles. We have the Be Mine candle and the Romance candle. Okay, guys, so let's talk about the different companies up until this point. The first thing you're going to do when you're picking out a candle, maybe you have some questions about the candle, um, and we'll touch back on this subject too. What about customer service? Um, I have to say, to me, I had a terrible experience with diamond candles. I'm not saying that that's going to happen to you. The only reason I still order from them, I own about nine or ten of their candles, is for my daughter Hannah. She likes them, so I continue to buy them. For her, I would not recommend them for adults um, just because they seemed really defensive. Like anytime you ask a question, it, it to me was just really and I actually got removed off their page just for asking a question about their Black Friday sale. So to me, it was really um, I didn't have a good experience. I'm not saying you're not going to. OK, um, Hidden Treasure Candles to me probably has the best customer service. I am not saying that because if you watch my video, I won the iPad Air. You will hear me say that in every single video. Have I received some of their candles broken? Absolutely. Have I got them replaced? Always. Within three to five days, I have a replacement candle headed to me. I have, to, to date, never had a problem with hidden treasure candles. So, And that's an honest review. Jewelry candles... 
I personally have never had a problem with them. I see a lot of people on their website, they're gripping about the wait time. I guess I got all these companies, like these two, got really backed up at Christmas. And it got really ugly on their Facebook pages. I always got my candles. I ordered one at Christmas. It took me two or three weeks to get it. I didn't mind. Um, now, I'm not sure what their ship time is. When I ordered these Valentine's Day candles, I got them in a couple weeks. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad. So I really don't have any complaints about them. The one thing I love about them, they have more scents than anybody. They have over a hundred scents. So you can either get the jewelry candle or get the ring candle. So you have some choices there. Um, also with jewelry and candles, not that they have bad customer service because they don't. Bless their hearts. They grew so fast in a short amount of time that they, they just couldn't keep up. Even to this day, I still order candles. It takes me anywhere from one to two months to get my candle. If you're not willing to wait that long, then this is not the company for you because the wait time will be a long time. Okay? Prize candles. Um... They they don't have a ton of scents to choose from, but they do change them up, okay? they Every season, they get new scents, it seems like. Um, it is small. The weird thing is, these cost just as much as these. These are around $25, kind of the same price I paid for all of these. And you're only getting, um, it says on here, like, 9 ounces. So that right off the bat, to me, these are definitely not the best value. We'll get into, um, cause I've had some of their candles before. We'll get into the wax and, and everything like that later on. But, um, customer service, I mean, they answered all the questions, except I asked if their candles were blended. Were they 100% soy? I never got a, I never got an answer. They would answer everyone else's questions on the page, but they avoided mine. And, um, a couple of the actual group members actually said, yes, I do believe they're blended. So, I don't know if that's true. I haven't had an official statement, but I've, I still haven't had an official answer. So in customer service, I'm going to have to give them a zero to one. Diamond candles, a zero to one. Hidden treasure, a 10. Jewelry candles, I'm going to give them a nine. I haven't had problems with them. Jewelry in candles, you know, I'm going to give them a seven or eight. It's not that it's terrible and they let you know up front, hey, it's a long wait time. You know, I do think they had a very big lack in communication way back in November, December, but I do feel like they are working on that. Um, so all of that, if I had to just base off of that so far, I mean, definitely these three are going to be in the uh, top three you probably want to look at ordering from, okay? Now, um, scent-wise, let's talk about that. Um, obviously, jewelry candles has the most scents offered, okay? Um, jewelry in candles, their scent throws are amazing. The one thing I have to say is I'm willing to wait two months for a candle that... Smells amazing. All of their candles, I have never been disappointed with. Same thing with Hidden Treasure. Hidden Treasure um, offers, they have a lot of triple layer candles, and it gives you a lot of variety in one particular candle. I love, I, to date, have not um, disliked anything I've gotten from them. So... Now, with jewelry candles, I have two other candles behind over here. Y'all can't see. Um, these Valentine's Day candles were supposed to smell like I chose ones that smell like fruit and, you know, goodness. I didn't get that from either of these. Both of these smell like some clean fresh scent. It was not romantic, wasn't fruity, wasn't anything. Um, out of the four jewelry candles that I own, I only like one of them. Um, the other three just kind of drop the, the bar for me. Um, I was disappointed in that. Jewelry and candles, I've never been disappointed with the scent. I've loved everything. Same with Hidden Treasure. Diamond candles, here's the crazy thing. So I did a video a while back on this candle. The This for my daughter, the watermelon wedge candle. Okay. This is, um, I have bought nine or ten out of, this is actually the fifth one I've ever burned. And it's the only one that ever had a scent throw where if I walked into my bedroom, I could actually smell the scent. So with them, it's very, very light scents. I have to just go on a limb and say, if I have 10 year candles and I can only smell one, you're, the, the scent, you're not going to get that wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of scent throw. So I have to give them, you know, a very low rating on the scent throw. Uh, hidden treasure, you, it will scent your entire room. Jewelry and candles, same thing, gonna scent your entire room. These smell okay, but the actual scent descriptions were disappointing. And prize candles, um, the two I've already burned had absolutely no smell whatsoever. None. And, um, if you watch my old prize candle videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, um, I just kind of, 
wanted to kind of break down if you're watching this video and you're like, hmm, I really want to get into it. What should I choose? Again, I have to go back and say that we know that these three are the best to choose from, in my opinion. Um, if you're looking for scent quality, I'm going to actually have to point to Hidden Treasure and Jewelry and Candles. This one, you're going to have a little bit more of a wait time. Not that these are bad, but the scents I've gotten just weren't as described. Um, so, you know, you, you may take a chance on that one. But her candles are double wicked, whereas the rest of them are do only have one wick. Now, Diamond Candles pretty much offers the big candles with jewelry or little ones without jewelry, and they're called their classic candles. Hidden Treasure is going to give you the most variety as to what they offer. Hidden Treasure has treasure candles that you can win an iPad. They have super cash candles where you can win the iPad Air. They have mystery candles where you can get any type of jewelry and win the Xbox One such as we did and um they also have gift sets and they have uh, mini cash candles where you I forget what you can win and you can also win a Le'Veon necklace so they give you a grand prize and a big variety of candles to choose from uh jewelry candles again they have jewelry candles where you can get anything or you can choose a ring candle with your size JIC has candles and tarts um, with jewelry inside and prize candle just has their little candles, um, unless they've changed since I posted this video. And going back, now that I remember it, I believe jewelry candles also offers things like wax roses, like wax dipped wooden roses, and they might have some soaps and things like that. So they do actually have a couple other products. I forgot about that. So as far as product range, you know, you're definitely not going to be bored with again these three right here because you're going to get you can get more than just candles or a normal candle you can kind of spice it up and change it up so for now i think i've pretty much covered oh shipping we'll go ahead and cover shipping before i light these bad boys up okay shipping so prize candle actually had really really fast shipping but if you watch my prize candle video i want you to take a moment go back and watch it and see how they pack these these are packed very poorly in my opinion i see more complaining on their facebook about the way these candles are received so i was not impressed i would give them the lowest rating possible on shipping um jewelry and candles are always packed well uh again it's a two-month wait to get your product so we're not even going to talk about uh shipping there because <laughs> y'all already know what that's going to be like but when the product comes it is wrapped beautifully okay uh jewelry candles always wrapped nice never had a problem and um uh, i don't have an extremely long wait time so i would give them really good on shipping htc is probably the fastest candle i've ever gotten i can order on a monday i can have it on a wednesday thursday uh friday at the latest so if you ever need a last minute gift you know uh, and i'm not saying it's going to be that way but go on their facebook and read for other what other people say and you will see the number one thing they get complimented on is how fast their shipping is um and they come well packaged diamond candles their shipping they use a thing called smart post i believe it's ridiculous <laughs> They, like, I live in Arkansas. I have to watch my package go to Tennessee, Mississippi, Louisiana, like, every state around Arkansas but me before it actually arrives. Um, I don't know if that's just the cheapest way they send them, but it's terrible. I, I, I just cannot stand their shipping. They're packed very well. You know, um, knock on wood, I've received every diamond candle safely. It's just how long it takes them to get here is ridiculous. Yeah, uh, I try to order when they have free shipping. If I had to pay for shipping, I'd be extremely pissed off. That's just the honest part about it. Um, so I would definitely rank Hidden Treasure as number one. And then I would rank Jewelry Candles as number two. And then Jewelry and Candles number three as far as speed and how well they are wrapped and things like that. Uh, Diamond Candles and Prize Candle going to give them a big fat goose egg. That's just my opinion. Again, you know, just trying to help you guys out if you're trying to decide which one to go with. So um on cold scent before I light all these up, they all smell fabulous um, except for these two. They don't have a smell. I smell absolutely nothing when I pick them up. This one, I smell a hint of chocolate in their uh, truffle candle. Uh, or, yeah, the truffle candle. That's it. Um, the, the rest of them all smell fabulous. Um, the thing with diamond candles is that when I go to light them up, I probably won't smell anything in my room. But if I stick my face near the candle, I will. But I will update you guys after I burn those, okay? Um, these three all smell good, except these two um, Valentine's Day candles were not as described. They do not smell good to me whatsoever. And I was highly disappointed in that. But 
I still love them and they're double wicked and they're really pretty. They're, I love when I get one that's not, I love colored candles, but I like to have a few that are not colored when you burn them at night. They glow and it's really pretty. Um, so these two I'm disappointed in the scent and these two I'm disappointed in the scent, but this one is redeemable because they have a hundred other scents and I have gotten a couple that I do like from them. Uh, the rest of them are fabulous. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and light them up and here's how I'm going to do this video so it's not taking up all your life to watch. I am going to do them by pairs. I'm going to light them up and do jewelry reveal so you're going to see... You're going to see five videos coming up where I'm revealing the, the sets together. Then I'm going to come back and finish up this video and let you guys know. I'm going to show you the jewelry I got out of all of them. Um, how well did they burn and how well did they all actually smell? And uh, hopefully this will help you guys kind of narrow down the path there as to what jewelry candle company you want to go with. And I really hope, again, that this helps you guys out. And I'm off to burn and see what pretties I got. See you guys in my uh, when I come back to finish this up. Hey everyone, so I'm back to finally finish up this video. I have been very, very busy and I did lose my voice for a while. You'll probably hear it in some of the videos. So I just kind of wanted to say as I'm concluding the video that this isn't a buy or don't buy video. It's just showing you guys, you know, my honest opinion about what I received and would I personally buy again. Maybe hoping to help you guys out, you know, if you're new to it and you're, I actually, it's so funny because I just got messaged by 10 different girls who were like, I watch your YouTube videos. Could you please tell me which ones you really like? This is my honest opinion. If you inbox me, I'm going to tell you the same thing. Um, except for I consider these five companies right here and I'll get a shot of them. I consider them kind of the bigger guys. Um, I have found myself ordering more from small vendors to support small business in America. So my honest opinion is my two favorite just wax uh, jewelry vendors ever are Kusher Creations and Scarlet Rain. Um, I have found a new wax vendor I love. Her name is Lene, and she owns Lene's Wax Creations. Her scent is very, very strong. I love them. I have some zucchini bread going right now. It just smells amazing. Um, and so I'm all about supporting small... Sorry. <laughs> I'm still working with a broke hand. So I'm still supporting small business, but I kind of wanted to do a video for the more popular guys here. So... With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video because I know um, everyone is wanting to see it. And I want to just thank everybody for watching my videos. I tell my family and my boss all the time. I can't believe people actually listen to what I say because <laughs> the kindergarten got in trouble for talking too much. And I still talk too much, obviously. So I just really appreciate that. And I, I hope my videos like help you guys out so you don't feel like you're wasting money on a candle. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get to the conclusion and let's see what I got. All right, everyone. So I'm back for the conclusion. Just kind of wanted to give my final thoughts on all five companies. Okay. So I have them ranked in order of would I purchase again? Okay, so I have them in order of would I purchase again. So starting over here, um, Hidden Treasure Candles is obviously my first choice. Um, this is, again, just my opinion based on customer service, shipping, wax quality, and um, the grand prizes that they have to offer. They give away more grand prizes um, they're really the only one with a grand prize. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't know, but we'll get to this one in a minute. Not that they necessarily have a grand prize, but I did speak with Jory and Candles, and the rep told me they have bonus candles. So, but there aren't as many. So, you have a better chance of winning if you're looking for something really exciting and fun in these candles. And you do get necklaces. They are most of the time just silver plated, but they're gorgeous and they're really, really fun. And one size fits all. If it's too small, just get an extender. These are great gifts for somebody if you don't know their size. Um, jewelry uh, candles. You can get the the ring candles. I like them because I haven't, I've seen other people say they've had a bad experience with them. I haven't necessarily had a problem. I've really enjoyed them. They have over a hundred cents. Their scents aren't always what I expect, but that could be a personal preference. Um, they still have 
literally over a hundred that I would love to try. And they did release a baking candle. I really want to be able to try that one. Jewelry and candles. I love their scents. Probably, probably second best to Hidden Treasure. I really love their banana nut bread candle. It smells absolutely fantastic. They also have, um, these have the longest burn time ever. Remember, this is a two wick candle, so these burn faster. Um, this one is a one wick, so it does burn slow, just like HTC. Um, I got a lot of life out of my, uh, jewelry and candles wax, so, um, really, really love them. And their scents are spot on. So, but the only reason I put them in third is the shipping time. When you order, you better be prepared to wait, okay? And yes, before anyone says anything, I know they're working on their shipping time, but I'm just being honest. Diamond candles I put fourth because I would buy them again for my daughter. My daughter Hannah is eight. She really likes them. And I mean, she's eight. She doesn't really care what she gets. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't expect much from scent. They burn pretty well. I mean, they burn a long time. Don't expect a really strong scent, at least from the, the, um, the 10 that I have. All right. Prize candles, I put absolutely last. I would never buy from them again unless for some reason they were giving them away for free just to have something to do. Okay. Now, now that I've talked about the candle part, Okay, let's talk about the jewelry part. Okay, I don't know how to word this, okay? I'm just going to give my honest opinion on what I received, okay? I'm not saying that you're going to receive these or you're not, okay? Based off what I have here, out of all the jewelry, what was my favorite? Um, as I look at the jewelry, I actually have to tell you guys, and, and I'm being honest. If this doesn't prove I'm being honest, I don't know what is. These two rings from Prize Candles, I think, are from a, uh, just from looking, are probably the, the most beautiful, just from, just from, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just from a vanity standpoint. They're, they're big, they're blingy, makes you feel like you really got something beautiful there. Okay, these are probably the prettiest. They are, I don't believe if I remember correctly, hold on. They are not marked and they are just $10 rings. But to look at, they're the most pretty. Okay, um, the necklaces I really, really love because they are 925 plated and um, they will fit, you know, so this is also my favorite. Now, diamond candles, probably the worst um, I'm, I'm going to talk about personal preference here. These ring, this ring in particular is really manly to me. I don't really care for it, but again, this is a personal preference. You might actually get these rings and love them. They just weren't really what I care for. They're not marked. I don't know what metal they are. So for that reason, even though these rings are really pretty, and even if I like the way these look, they're not marked they're more than likely going to turn my finger green. So, irregardless of how much I like them or don't, I really can't wear them, okay? Um, I don't want my finger turning green at work or anywhere else, all right? So, brings me over to um, these rings. Now, I will be honest. From the rings that I've gotten... The jewelry candles are probably my favorite for one reason, that the rings are marked TK316. This ring is marked TK316. This one isn't, but look at the sparkle and the bling it puts off. Um, I don't know about this one. I probably wouldn't wear it. Um, it may be okay for my daughters to wear. It's very beautiful. I wish it were marked. But this one is marked. It is stainless steel and will not turn my finger green. I feel like I really got a quality piece. So, these are actually from a wearable point of view. I have to give the number one to jewelry candles because their jewelry is wearable. Um, I would share the number one position with Hidden Treasure because this is also 925 plated, very wearable, won't turn me green. Um, I can't really rank jewelry. Can I mean, it's not really marked. They're marked JIC. I have no idea what kind of metal this is. So I don't really know what I'm working with. And I double checked, but I'm going to look again.
the earrings are not marked either. So I probably couldn't wear these on my actual ears because I have very, very sensitive ears and I don't know what metal they are. <laughs> so the the earrings are pretty much not wearable. The necklace is, but I don't know. I live in Arkansas. It gets very humid, so if I sweat, I don't want this thing turning me green. So again, it's really pretty to look at, but it's not marked. I have no idea what metal it is. So essentially for an adult, my personal preference, I couldn't wear it. It is very gorgeous. If it was marked sterling silver, I would be through the roof excited. Um, but you know what? My little girls, they will love it. So It'll work for them. So if I had to choose, I would say that hidden treasure and jewelry candles probably give the best jewelry for an adult and wearable jewelry for an adult. Um, these are not marked any indication of what metal. These are unmarked. These are unmarked. Okay. So I, I hope that's not confusing and I broke that down for you guys. Now, um... Yes, I won a bonus candle, and yes, I won um, some $150 earrings. I cannot wait to get them. I'm really excited. I think the fun factor is probably going to be in these two for the fact that with Hidden Treasure, you can win an Xbox One, iPad, iPad Air, Le'Veon necklace, or fixing to give away their second Le'Veon necklace, and jewelry and candles. I actually found out somebody won the matching... Um, diamond heart necklace from the from the uh, love potion candles so they actually are giving out some grand prizes i think the cool factor is definitely in these two companies if you're looking for something more than jewelry you know something to 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 uh, look forward to as you're collecting your candles so these two right here i you know these three well these three i definitely buy for me these i'll buy for hannah these i won't purchase again so again you know, just use what I'm, you know, just use my experience as a guideline um, to help yourselves, you know. So if anything of what I said is important, if you're buying for the jewelry aspect, I broke it down for that. If you're buying for the candle aspect, I hope I, bro I broke that down for you. In all honesty, all four waxes are really, really good. These four, in my opinion, um, I just didn't care for whatever blend this is. I think you'll be happy, but I think you'll be most happy probably with any of these three. So give them a try. And I always say, you know, I'm not saying don't buy certain ones. I think you should try them all for yourself and see because you might actually like that better than what I do. All I'm trying to do is give a video to help you out. Maybe, um clear a path for you, uh, a fork in the road so you can see which path you want to go down. That was the whole reason of making the video for you guys. So here it is, five of the bigger companies side by side. Yes, I know there are bigger companies. I've already been told that. These are just the five I decided to do. Um, and at the end of the day, I'm really excited because everything that came in these candles were a bonus. They don't have to put them in there, and they did. And they're all really beautiful, whether they're marked or not marked. And I don't ever look at like how I, you know, I don't really care for this one. Guess what? you know, I can give this to someone who might actually really like it, you know, it may make their day better. So anytime I get a piece that I necessarily don't care for, and I know my daughters won't like, you know, I always try to find someone to give it to, maybe they'll love it, and it'll make their day just a little bit special. So there's always a way to kind of pay it forward. And again, um, yeah, I just, I don't know what else to say. I just hope this really helped you guys out. And I, I hope, um, Makes it a little bit easier for you. I can't wait to see what candles you guys buy. If you post your links below, I'll be glad to watch your videos. Remember to subscribe and like. And um, I hope you check out some of my other videos. And I can't wait to see the, the prize we get from Jewelry and Candles. It's really exciting. And I will see everyone in my next video. Bye.